welcome to prasi and to educational academy in this session we are going to study klr potential 5 if del 5 is equal to y square minus 2x y z cube i vector plus 3 plus 2xy minus x square is a cube j vector plus 6 is a cube minus 3 x square y is a square k vector find phi so this is scalar potential first we have to know what is the del phi del is i vector do divided by do x plus j vector do divided by do y plus k vector dou divided by dou z del phi is equal to i vector dou phi by dou x plus j vector dou phi by dou y plus k vector dou phi by dou z so del phi is equal to the given in the problem that is given del phi is equal to y square minus 2 x y z cube i vector plus 3 plus 2xy minus x square is a cube j vector plus 6 is a cube minus 3 x square y is a square k vector so now we have to write instead of del phi i vector left hand side you have to substitute i vector dou phi by dou x plus j vector dou phi by dou y plus k vector dou phi by dou z which is equal to so what is given in the problem you have to write y square minus uh, 2 x y z cube i vector plus 3 plus 2 x y minus x square z cube j vector plus 6 z cube minus 3 x square y z square k vector so now you can compare because uh, these two equations are equal so you have to compare i vector left hand side right hand side is also i vector so dou phi by dou x is equal to y square minus 2 x y z cube so that's why i have written here dou phi by dou x is equal to y square minus 2 x y z cube take this equation number one left hand side is j vector dou phi by dou y right hand side is 3 plus 2 x y minus x square z cube j vector so dou phi by dou y is equal to j vector j vector you have to compare so dou phi by dou y is equal to 3 plus 2 x y minus x square z cube take this equation number 2 dou phi by dou z which is equal to 6 z cube minus 3 x square y z square so take this equation number 3 now we are going to take the equation number 1 so what is the equation number one dou phi by dou x which is equal to y square minus 2 x y z cube so dou phi is equal to you can write dou phi is equal to by cross multiplying y square minus 2 x y z cube into dou x so integrating on both sides integral d phi which is equal to integral y square minus 2 x y z cube into dx so integral d phi is equal to phi which is equal to y square x minus 2 x square by 2 y z cube plus c when you are integrating y square dx y square dx if you are integrating y square into dx so y square integral dx y square into integral dx is x so that's why i have written here y square x minus 2 x dx so x is there so that's why you have to integrate x x square by 2 2 2 cancel so phi is equal to y square x minus x square y is a cube plus c so take this equation number 4 next from equation number 2 dou phi by dou y which is equal to 3 plus 2xy minus x square z cube so dou phi is equal to 
3 plus 2xy minus x square z cube into rho y by cross multiplying. So, integral d phi is equal to integral 3 plus 2xy minus x square z cube dy. Both sides you have to uh, in, integrate. So, integral d phi is equal to phi. Integral dx is equal to x. In this way, integral d phi is equal to phi, which is equal to 3 into dy. So, 3 into dy is equal to 3y plus 2x y dy. Y dy, if we are integrating y square by 2 minus x square is that cube into dy. So, x square is that cube integral dy will be y plus some constant c. So, phi is equal to 3y plus x y square 2 to cancel 2 divided by 2 cancelled x y square minus x square y z cube plus c take this equation number 5 next from equation number 3 do phi divided by do z which is equal to 6 z cube minus 3 x square y z square so do phi is equal to 6 z cube minus 3 x square y z square into dou z. So, both sides you have to integrate. Integrating on both sides, you will get integral d phi is equal to integral 6 z cube minus 3 x square y z square into dz. So, integral d phi is equal to phi, which is equal to 6, 6, 6 z cube into dz. So, 6 z cube d z is equal to z power 4 by 4 minus 3 x square y z cube z square d z z square if you are integrating z cube by 3 plus c so phi is equal to 3 z power 4 by 2 plus x square y z cube plus c so take this equation number 6 so scalar potential is these three equations from these three equations 4 5 6 you have to write the final answer is if any repeated value for example y square x this is a two times repeated so you have to write one time minus x square y is a cube two times repeated or three times repeated you have to write only one time 3y it is not repeated plus 3 is that power 4 divided by 2 it is not repeated which is not repeated you have to write which one is repeated you have to write only one time plus some constant c so phi is equal to scalar potential phi is equal to y square x minus x square y z cube plus 3y plus 3 into z power 4 by 2 plus c thank you